don't even know what to say to you. I can't say I'm sorry because I've said that already a bunch of times because I've done this before. I've gone off the grid, yada, yada, yada. So I can't, I can't even say I'm sorry. I can't, I can't even do that to you. I have no words. I literally have no words. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to New York City. We are currently in Times Square. This layover is probably one of my favorite layovers that we have in the system because we are literally downtown New York. Like we are in, in it all. Like I can smell the 99 cent pizza from my 38th floor room here at the hotel. So um, I'm gonna go down. It's currently 940. I've been getting up early lately. Huge news, if you're not following me on Instagram. Um, we bought a house. Th there's a lot we need to catch up on. I know you're probably like, girl, you're irrelevant at this point. I know. So we're gonna get back on it. Today is Monday the 8th. It is currently the eclipse day. So everybody is freaking out about four minutes of darkness. I don't understand why. But anyway, um, we're gonna go down and get a bagel and then I'm going to walk to TJ Maxx because I ran out of moisturizer and maybe hit up Central Park and get a Magnolia cupcake and then swing back around to a uh, like grocery store market kind of thing. Not a bodega because this is, it's too fancy for a bodega. It's like a Dina DeLuca's type of thing. But, um, and then probably just come back upstairs. It's currently 9.40 and our van is at 3.20. So I need to be back in this room by like two o'clock, which I think is doable because I'm not going all the way into like Times Square and stuff. I'm gonna stay more towards Central Park, I believe. So, and then with that, I will uh, kind of explain where I've been, what I've been doing and why I've been MIA. New York City Hall. Okay, I have to set you guys up. Probably right here. Uh, maybe on my lunchbox, actually. So, this is my New York City Hall. It's very exciting. Um, I went to the grocery store. I have been on the hunt for the light blue Doritos. They are the Blazin' Buffalo and Ranch. I just, I've been looking for these everywhere and I found them. So I'm gonna try them today on the plane. They had a salad bar at the um, little grocery store. So I got a kale mac and cheese salad a cucumber tomato salad and then a tomato and mozzarella salad just a little sample tray of all of it and then i also got a chicken salad wrap for at some point on the plane tonight of course i had to stop at magnolia's bakery and i got a cupcake i went in and I was gonna get like a London Fog iced tea and all this and that, but then the line was super long, so I just got this and I didn't wanna wait because I actually want to take a nap before I go on my van. And, oh, and then also I got the superior flavor of Natalie's orange juice. It is the tangerine, pineapple, sweet basil, orange, and aloe. If you have Natalie's in your area, like the brand, this baby right here, this is the one. She is lovely. And then I went to Target because I needed um, a small thing of moisturizer and my toner, I ran out and because we moved, still haven't told you about that, um, I'm kind of like all over the place with my toiletries and stuff for work. So I totally just forgot to pack everything. So got that and then I also needed some cotton rounds 
And then I got some Monster Trail Mix and my five cent Target bag, which is actually super cute and I can't wait to use it at home. And people are gonna be super jealous in Orlando when they're like, where did you get your bag? And I'm like, New York City, babe. So that is the haul. There is no refrigerator in this room. So I have my cooler. I got a new cooler. I'll show you guys in a second, but I got a, I got a new cooler and um, I'm just going to put ice in it. I'm going to find, I have an ice baggie, but I'm going to also maybe use like the laundry bag too, just to make it really cool. Cause there is no refrigerator in this room, but let me show you my new cooler. I've been wanting to get the Yeti cooler. I think it's like the 12 liter one or the 15 liter. I don't know. It's every flight attendant at my airline. I feel like has this bag, but it's 300 doll hairs. And I was like, girl, no, I'm not buying that. So I saw a dupe. It's a hydro flask. It looks exactly the same. It's perfect. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick. And it was only 60 bucks. So I love that price. And the cooler is a hard sided cooler. The downfall is there isn't any pockets. And I know flight attendants love pockets on their lunch boxes but this one does not have it. However, you can buy the um, like extra pockets holders for the outside, but I don't need that. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Okay, so this is her. She's super cute. Um, she unzips at the top. And see, it's pretty hard. So then um, inside it just opens straight up. And like I said, I have to refill this but it's pretty deep. I'm not really sure what's on my lunchbox there, but um, so I can fit at least 12 soda cans in here. Uh, but yeah, you can just put ice in here. It's plastic, it, it wipes easily. There is one small pocket on the outside that I have like tin foil for, you know, and some wings for the children's, but yeah, otherwise it's pretty easy. Um, I put it on top of my suitcase with this little strap. It's not technically a handle strap. It's technically to make it like a shoulder strap, but I just tightened it up and used it as a handle strap. And yeah, so that is my new cooler and I absolutely love it and I can fit so much in it and it's beautiful. So now I am going to go refill my ice bag and put all my stuff in my cooler and then I am going to lay down for a little bit and our van is at 320. It's only like 1130 but I just kind of want to relax and chill for a little bit before you know I have to get ready and whatnot and then we do two to Tampa. Hello everyone. We are heading downstairs in approximately two minutes. The eclipse is happening right now, but it's really, hold on. It's really cloudy out there, so I don't know all those people that were freaking out about darkness for four minutes. It's super dark out, like it's like not, like the sun is not out, like it is cloudy. But um, we are heading on our two legs right now. We are going from LaGuardia to Midway, and we have a little bit of a sit in Midway. So I'm like, some popcorn? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. And then we go down to Tampa. So kind of a longer evening, but we get in, I think, around midnight, and it's currently 3.15. We do have to leave this hotel. Our check-in's not till 4.50, but we have to leave super early here because of traffic, downtown New York traffic and everything. But um, that is the route we are going today. So we're just gonna go over and then head on down. And then tomorrow we do two legs, um, Tampa, Buffalo, Buffalo home to Orlando. So yesterday I was actually sitting airport standby. That's why I started the vlog off kind of weird. And also like, because I haven't been vlogging so I'm off my game. But um, I was on airport standby and I got used on airport standby. I was sitting there, I went in at noon. They called me at like 9.30. So I got ready and everything left around 10.45 ish and got to the airport and then um, sat there for three hours and then they called me for this trip. It's been fine. It's a great trip. It's really nice. The people I'm flying with are super nice. So yeah, but um, I better get going because I have to walk a mile to the elevator and then head on down from like the 38th floor or whatever on down to the lobby. So I'll see you guys on the plane. I love everybody looking at the... <laughs> 
That's why I'm not saying. I will say it's big pocket. Yes. <laughs> that was cool. You got it. Every. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> It's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent now. Hello everyone. We just got on the air well, I just got on the airplane. We're super early and so everyone's getting food, but I already have all of my food for um, my flight because I went and bought all that stuff from the um, little market <clears throat> so I went to Starbucks while well, I ordered a London fog latte and with cold foam on top they forgot to put the milk in and it's really watered down because it's supposed to be a latte but the cold foam made it like a latte I guess so it's not the best London fog latte that I've had I don't know, and it even says on there, Fenty Ice London Fog Latte, Vanilla Cold Foam. Yeah, it's just like watered down tea. No big deal, I'll still drink it, but I'm going to get situated here and put my stuff up in our bin and get all of my stuff organized. And we are going to Chicago. We have like an hour and a half sit in Chicago. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. And then we go down to Tampa. It is so freaking hot on this airplane. Whew. So in two days, we vote on the TA, the tentative agreement, so kind of a little backstory. Um, during Vlogmas, I told you guys we were voting on a new contract and it didn't go through. Well, this time, um, they just posted another one a couple weeks ago and it's really good. It's just as good as the last one, in my opinion. I know I have a lot of flight attendants that follow me from my airline that disagree, but I thought it was perfectly fine. Um, so this one, think it's gonna go through so fingers crossed we vote on it on April 10th so in two days and then um, it closes like in two weeks and we find the results out like April 24th or something like that and if it does pass it will go in effect May 1 so that's kind of cool but um, yeah I'm just gonna get my iPad out and my and that's all I need for right now because it's not a very long flight so I'm not going to break my book out or anything but our check-in's not literally for 20 minutes <laughs> and so yeah I wouldn't be surprised if no one comes for a while but I am the D position so I am like the floater this crew that I'm with I was with them yesterday they are from Houston super nice crew they're really fun so we're having a great time but yeah do enjoy a good room view. Welcome to Go Home Day. We have two legs today. We are going up to Buffalo and then Buffalo down to Orlando. And yeah, so we were a little late today. When I woke up, it said we were about an hour late. I think they were having weather in Houston. That's where the plane was originating from. And so they were late going up to Chicago and then they went to Louisville and then Louisville to here. Uh, they made up a little bit of time, so right now we're only 24 minutes late, but I think hopefully we can make up some time as well and get this show on the road. So I'm just putting all my towels and making sure I have everything, cleaning up the room, and I'm going to head downstairs because our van is in about seven minutes. And yeah, then we're going to head on to the airport here in Tampa and then go home. I did pick up a two day Thursday, Friday, but I just dropped it because I just have a lot going on um, with the house and everything. And only having one day off this week was kind of giving me anxiety because I do go back on reserve on Sunday and I have to watch the dogs this weekend for my mom as well. So I was just kind of, 
it wasn't it wasn't great timing i should have probably never picked it up to begin with but anyway it's all good i will try and finagle something else later in the month but for now i am going to head down to the van and i will see you guys on the airplane I indeed did not see you on the airplane because we were running super late and I could not film because we were trying to play catch up. So uh, basically we got home and we were only about, I think, 15 minutes late. It's been about a week now, so I don't really remember because <laughs> a lot has, ha has happened in the week. But um, currently in our den area, I was going to film downstairs but i'm not ready to show you guys our house yet we still have a little bit of renovating to do um and also the, the kitchen is a mess so that's probably where i would have been filming anyway but don't worry i will show you guys bits and pieces here and there i have already uploaded um some pictures on instagram on my story about some like little renovations that we've been doing in the room i'm in right now this was like our first project we painted it it was like a baby blue weird vibe I don't know like the ceiling in the closet was painted the baby blue I'm not really sure what's going on but this room is actually going to be our den um this tv stand well it's not really a tv stand it's two end tables with an Ikea shelf on it with our tv from our bedroom at the old place um that those two stands are going to be put together and they're going to be painted and they're going to go in the guest bedroom and be a little tv stand I don't know what I'm going to do with that tabletop. This thing that's leaning up against it is actually this, which is a fireplace TV stand. So if you can't tell by the color of the wall, um, we painted it a dark green because this is our den. We want it very like, think like Harry Potter, but not Harry Potter. Like there will be subtle hints of Harry Potter in here, but it's going to be very dark and very like, library speakeasy kind of vibe um and then there's a guest bedroom and another guest bedroom and then our main bedroom all up here and the laundry room is up here and then downstairs is an open concept of the kitchen dining room and living room and there's also a built-in desk area which is my favorite part of the entire house probably and then we have a big backyard so um yeah i just i love this place so basically let me catch you up because you're probably like what is going on so the last time you saw me <laughs> was a very long time ago it was like in january i think um it was right before we went to zurich which was beautiful by the way absolutely loved it every single minute of it um i soaked it all in i did vlog a little tiny bit but it just it wasn't enough to make it like a full-on vlog because i did soak up the entire trip because i've never been to switzerland and it was just breathtaking i definitely want to go back and explore more someday super duper expensive so if you do want to go to Switzerland I would suggest saving a ton of money um there were so many things that I wish we could have done like I don't know I don't ski I like I like to snowboard but um we could have went skiing or snowboarding we did go up the incline in the mountains and we went up all through um actually two mountains the first day I almost died of sleep exhaustion <laughs> We took a boat and then we took a lift and then we walked around this mountain and I was like trying to take in the views but I was so exhausted but it was so beautiful but all in all it was totally worth it because the views were amazing and we had a really great time and it was just incredible and then a week later I went to London with my best friend um, his birthday was February 8th and we went to London because he's never been overseas before. And so we were there for like, I think three or four days. I can't really remember. Um, but then we came back and I was sick for like two and a half weeks. Don't know what was wrong. I took a COVID test, strep test, flu test. Everything came back negative. I was sick as a dog. I took off work for two weeks. And then in that time of being sick, um, we put an offer in this house on Valentine's Day and or well the day before and we got the house on valentine's day 
and then everything was just going super quick after that we were packing i was working um eddie was gone and it was just kind of it really really fast and then we moved in here on i think march 29th is that right march 29th yeah i think that's when we closed um we started moving in march 30th and then the movers came march 31st or no we closed the 28th because it was easter on the 31st that it was sunday anyway so that whole week went super fast and then we literally buckled down for the first seven days of being in this house we painted this room we painted the downstairs bathroom because it was the same kind of blue and then we um renovated our bathroom like we redid the cabinets we painted the wall um, we still have to take out the builder grade mirror in there and we're going to put two individual mirrors but it, it's it just went super fast and I, I have no excuse not to be vlogging like or not to be uploading but it's just like there was just a lot going on and I know that I totally left everybody in the dark and again I can't even say sorry because I've pulled this stunt before but honestly it wasn't even that I didn't even want to do it it was just it's been crazy so um anyway i think i did post something along the lines of sorry i didn't upload this week currently in zurich that was in the end of january and somebody commented i saw it and they were like did you get lost in the alps i think they literally commented that like two weeks ago it made me laugh because i was like you know honestly i kind of wish i did get lost in the alps but um yeah so we are officially homeowners and welcome welcome to the madness i am excited to share the journey with you like i said i will start slowly introducing you to the house i just um want to make sure that it's clean and good and i don't know just i'm just here living i'm just here living for the vibes living for the opportunity the fun renos that we have planned um currently in the middle of redoing the guest bathroom as well and this room i can't wait to decorate it we're gonna put book um built-in bookshelves and get like a bunch of fun decor and do like a bunch of golds and just like dark i'm gonna get like velvet curtains in here i don't know it's just gonna be super cute i cannot wait to um share it with you but like i said um sorry i've been in my a but good news is we're back we're stronger than ever we are going to kill it this year with vlogs. I can already feel it. I know it's like April, so we already are in the uh, year for uh, four years. Four. We are already in the year uh, four months in, but I, yeah, I just feel like I needed to close that chapter before I could really s concentrate on my YouTube channel and social media and everything again. So I did just want to give you that courtesy of um, where I've been because I know I said I was going to sit down and talk to you guys. And I just feel like you deserve that because I did kind of leave you hanging there. So again, I'm really sorry. Tomorrow I am going on a two day to San Diego. It's about a 20 hour layover. I'm either going to go whale watching or see this uh sea lions on like a boat duck boat tour thing and um then i have a three day on sunday so i'm working five days in a row so expect the vlogs to come again i don't want to say sorry because <laughs> i've pulled this before but i am sorry and if you've s stayed here and you've stuck around and you're like girl where you been I i'm here i just I have no excuse but I'm giving you that so we're back we're we're uh, gonna pull through this year so thank you so much for sticking around and watching this vlog and I can't wait to uh, keep on vlogging and sharing my flight attendant journey with you so see you in the next one